last. Staff Sergeant and Instructor Boom Operator. Perfect. Alright. Alright, so today what we're doing is uh, we're supporting some fighters in an exercise and it's good training for us because we're getting the day fighters for my student as well as the other student on board and uh, we're just providing them gas so they can go, go around and play a little bit. Our part. So what we're doing is we're playing tanker to give these guys gas so they can stay in there longer and uh, execute all the missions that they're uh, that they're doing today. How long can you know how long they can stay in the air? So without a, without a uh, tanker, like the average flight time for a fighter is like 45 minutes after they're airborne because they burn a lot of fuel when they take off. And with us. I mean, they can stay up as pretty much as long as they as they can last, because you know we're carry a lot of gas. Absolutely. Where, uh, where can you guys support fighters? Uh, we can support worldwide, anywhere, anytime, any place. Uh, why why are we practicing that? Why is that? Important? Well, it's good to practice, especially for even me, but the students as well, because this is like a pre a preview of the deployment situation and the environment. So it's, it's good for them to go in with like a head start than it is to just go in there blindsided. How long have you been doing this? Uh, I've, been, uh, I've been doing the refueling, the boom operator for about four years. I've been instructing for about a year. So that's... Walk me through the first, or the first time you were refueling. All right, so the first time I ever did refueling for real Obviously, we do it in the simulator at first to practice, and then it's a whole it's a whole new thing once you open that door and see that that huge aircraft coming up behind you. And then, I mean, pretty much you just use like all the practice and training, and then when you make the contact, it's it's euphoric. It's just it's wild. Pretty awesome. Uh, I mean, I, th I think it's awesome. Like a lot of people don't think. Like from the outside looking in, and everybody's, it's all view on the fighters and like they're doing everything. But a lot of people don't realize without a tanker, I mean, a lot of this stuff couldn't be possible. But I just think it's awesome to see a flight of fighters come up and just, you know, hang on our wingtips and we just carry them across the water. It's pretty sweet to see.